And we're back to another episode of Portal 2. In the last episode, we put Wheatley in charge of this facility. Facility after we defeated the GLaDOS. GLaDOS, and he seemed to go crazy. Let's see, he uh, punched that elevator down, down it into its shaft, and we fell through down here. So now let's why don't we explore around here? Because this place. Is gigantic, to say the very least. What's over here? So zero nine. Oh, is that? Yes, it is. A portal over here. Okay. Place. Uh, I'm not stuck down here, at least. Not yet. I can still, I can still probably find a way out. This place is massive. Keep out. Do not enter content yeah. condemned testing area, huh? I'm not sure if I can listen to that. Let's see here. There should be something I can portal to. Ah. Oh, right there. I'm actually portal in two. This arrangement shaft may contain unsafe quantities of cosmic ray spalatin elements. Oh, that's it. Okay. I thought I all three said different things. Do not enter. Keep out. Keep out. Why am I not listening to these signs? What is this? Looks like a a tube of uh, neuro, the neurotoxin tubes. Looks a little bit like that, but why would, neuro, why would the neurotoxin be pumped all the way down here? Doesn't really make sense. Hmm. What is this thing? Whatever it is, it is massive. I can go, there. I can go over there. Air pockets makes sense. Supplementary hatch rec reclusion override. was covering was one door Big 
bit concerned. What is that thing? that may occur in the course of your science adventure. Your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you, fighting an army of mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. You'll know when the test starts. Um... Um... Cave Johnson, huh? Okay... Alpha. Know your allergies to pollen, to animal danger? Oh, dander. And plastics, antimatter. Enter. Know your hazardous materials. Don't touch anything unfamiliar. And know your chemical, chem bleh, chemical hazards. Do not inhale fumes no matter how good they smell. Oh man. Pump station Alpha. Right. That is 
super loud, but okay, got it. Gel flow. So this is not for neurotoxin. They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand-holding. That's just why I like to learn tests. Alright. Let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. What? Okay, so we are here. Yes. Why did it start at the number four? What sense is that? Oh, I'm at the bottom of the barrel. Well, that's great. Hey, let's see. Remember, this, ha this test is unsolvable without an extra science portable quantum tunneling device. If you have not received one, please find test, asso test associate before participating in any shaft or shaft O9 or may activities. Well, good thing I have one of those. Repulsion gel. Did you know repulsion gel was Aptra's first attempt to create diet? Dietetic pudding substitute? What? It's true! The gel is a sweeter, slightly less non-toxic form of fiberglass insulation that causes subsequently ingested food items to bounce off the lining of the and dis dis distended stomach and out his or her mouth or very or of various reasons. Wait, for various reasons. My bad. This product was pulled from shelves. <laughs> so wait, it causes things to bounce. Oh. Blue gel causes things to bounce. We have a right here. Okay. The higher you jump from, the bigger you bounce up. Okay. The higher you bounce up. The bigger you bounce up is what did I just say? And we have a cube. boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. <laughs> I pay the bills here, I can talk about the control group all damn day. <laughs> Alright, uh, oh. Well, I have to go around. Hold on. Huh? Ah, made it. I think. Oh, uh, over this way, right? Yes. For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Wait, what? Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. What? Wait, what? You gave me a tumor? I do not appreciate that. up and down, but you can also bounce off walls. Even when holding something. And one last thing. Oh, 
Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. Well, let's be honest, does anybody really like the human skeleton? I mean, come on. Let's just be honest here. All these science spheres are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. What number makes a happy space? Space? Face. No number does that. What? Man, I want to see what numbers you're working with. That sounds like that sounds like a good time. You go up there. Huh. What? No portable surface, really? I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. What? <laughs> okay. Uh, don't want a portal right here on the X, I think. Oh, it's so much bad turf through here. Well, my bad. Let's see. Over here, we have a button that activates the gel. So it's just one gel. Oh, activates it forever. calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. What? What? Why would you use that then? Could you not use anything else?
Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. I'm pretty sure if it starts vibrating inside my skull, I'm going to have bigger problems. Oh, we also have some water over here. That's good to know. Let's uh, for that for a second. Okay. Put that over here. Water washes away any and all gel. As you can see. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. Remember, if a future, if a future tries to warn you about this test, don't listen. If a future... Oh, it's a future you, I didn't realize that. All right, well... Sure, why not? Let's see here, we have some of this stuff. Oh, I see why we have to do this. Okay. After doing that, and then... Oh, come on, go on there. We just want to jump off. That's all we want to do. It's pretty easy. Accidents hurt you. You will be hurt. Co-workers don't endanger others. The company replacements are costly, and science investigations impede progress. Safety first. <laughs> oh wait, I know what we have to do here. Uh, 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 this is something I always get stuck on. Now I remember. We have access to the uh, access. What? We have access to the blue gel. Put the blue water down. Now we can do that. To go down here. Bounce. Boom, made it. Oh, that's not the right way. Oh, that's also not the right way. That's the right way. Dang it. Uh, maybe it was actually on the other side. Was it? No, no, no. I was, I was doing it right. I just think. I just not go high enough? There you are. If you're hearing this, it means you're taking a long time on the catwalks between tests. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink bras, that sounds like projection. They didn't fly into space, storm a beach, or bring back the gold. No, sir, we did. It's you and me against the world, son. I like your grit. Hustle could use some work, though. Now let's solve this thing! Alright. Alright, over here we have... Oh yeah, this one. This one's interesting. Okay, um... Uh, we're gonna want to get the... Gel. And we're gonna want to put it on here. Because now the cube is covered. And it's bouncing around. It's breaking windows. Shattered everything. Nope, we need to grab that. Now, if we try to set it down anywhere, it'll just keep on bouncing. So we need to clean this off real quick. I have some water. Thank you. Okay, at least I won't uh, have to not starve to death. Uh, what's the word? Die first. Okay, so now I can. Oh god. get up here, and now we need this lift to start working, so please make it out. Let's go. Science isn't about why, it's about why not. Why is so much of our science dangerous? 
Why not marry safe science if you love it so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door that won't hit you on the butt on the way out because you are fired? Now you test subject, you're doing fine. Yes, you. Box your stuff. Out the front door. Parking lot. Car. Goodbye. <laughs> Yes, you. Box. Your stuff. Every word has a period in front of it. Alright. After it. Whatever. Never. I think that's where we're gonna end on. Oh, so, next time on Portal 2, we'll go through this elevator and hopefully maybe make it out of this place at some point. Oh boy, I don't know why we're going through with this stuff, but yeah, we are. Anyway. I'll worry about that next episode. So, until then, this has been The Reference Guy, signing off. Perfect timing. Jesus Christ, that thing is so loud. Holy fuck. Shut the fuck up. Why is that so loud out, out here? Oh man, okay. Oh, done.